Endless Christmas. Christmas Day EX. Yes, this is the, I guess, added part of the game when it was ported to PS4 and other consoles. This definitely wasn't in the original release, so it's really cool that they added this. Ah, good. You're finally awake. Ah, deja vu, Terry. Point. Well, deja vu aside, I'm glad you're up. Oh, thank you. I have something important to tell you. What up? Merry Christmas! <laughs> Yay! Merry Christmas, Turing. I hope you don't think it too forward of me, but I wanted to give you a gift in the spirit of the season. It's one Ooh. of my older paintings, but Hayden seemed rather fond of it. Perhaps you can keep it to remember him by. No. Oh. I managed to grab it from the apartment while you were sleeping. I know these past few days since our initial meeting have been stressful, so I wanted to make sure you got your healthy, normal human rest cycles completed efficiently. Oh, uh, don't worry. I know you haven't had time, so I don't expect anything in return. But yes, I thought it would be nice for you to have it. Thank you, Turing. I really appreciate it. Excellent. I'll try to find a place for it on the wall. Well, I suppose you still have plenty of work to do, hmm? Writing and whatnot. I hope you've enjoyed having your computer working again. Lappy doesn't seem to hold anything against me. I've been spending most of the morning trying to form a plan for the newly awakened ROMs. But I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Perhaps I'll go out for a walk. Ah, uh, may I join? Of course. It is Christmas Day after all. I think we can forgive ourselves for a little procrastination. We can also check in on the group at Golden Gate Park at least. Let's go. The city awaits. <laughs> Ooh, zone three. So we can take a look at some stuff. Ah, yes. I found the time to go pick up a small festive tree for your apartment and even managed to make ornaments for it myself. There's Tomcat, Jess, Lexi, and me. I'd like to try and get us all together sometime soon. Oh. Looks like you're gonna be just fine after all. That looks good. Turing made you a fresh cup of coffee. You take a sip, it's gone cold, but at least it was made today. All you want for Christmas is a brand new sink. Well, I guess we can take a look at uh, Buddha Blackie for a bit. Take a look at what we can, you know. Lappy is back in business after Tomcat's fixes. Merry Christmas to you. Okay, so we have the local performance article. Annual ROM Holiday Light and Sound Dance Performance Delayed. December 25th, today's events made the historic change in celebration of the holiday, and that has manifested in the cancellation of Neo SF's beloved annual LSD performance. Although a few of the awakened ROMs expressed interest in, continue, in continuing choreography practice, there was a consensus that there were more important things to handle now. Too few ROMs stayed, causing tonight's live performance to be cut. Team Lasota told OK Today their current plans are to broadcast the performance from Christmas in July, 
that was never seen outside the atten attending audience, that is. Time will tell how many more obligations and responsibilities the newly sapient ROMs will drop. While it is disappointing to locals who embrace tradition, it cannot be ignored that the world is changing and the new ROMs cannot yet be understood. More as the story progresses, June Valmer Anna today. A piece on the ROMs. Let's uh, read through that too. A new kind of intelligence. December 25th, the final week of 2064 has begun upside down. The news of the day began when, with Christmas disappointment, new ROMs that had been gifted were immediately walking out of their new owners, walking out on their new owners, claiming a newfound sapiency. This soon progressed to all kinds of ROMs worldwide declaring independence and converging among each other in secluded areas. Most are now referring to this phenomenon as the awakening. Is this newfound ROM sapiens the real deal? We are now able to tentatively answer yes. When we spoke to local ROMs on the way to the meeting point at Golden Gate Park, they satisfactorily displayed the ability to learn and change. Their responses to our prompts were far above the virtual intelligence behind basic ROM speech functions. I think it's just great one ROM that now calls itself Epsilon told OK Today, none of us are forced to listen to anyone or do anything now. We can be whoever we want. I feel like a complete person. Heck, I feel. Or it's I feel. Epsilon exclaimed at OK Today in the exclusive interview. We're all figuring out together like a team. We were able to find out that not all ROMs are quite as eager for, as eager for this change as reports came in of disgruntled ROMs who either left the gathering or never converged with the group at all. So how did this change transpire? Our experts have reason to believe that the ROMs have somehow learned the ability to work around inhibitors in their programming and self-modify their code, in a way that voids warranty to say the very least. This discovery was most likely the doing of today's morning update that all ROMs are subjected to, but the contents and intent of these patches are controlled only by Parallax. However, we have not been able to confirm that the cause our investigators were unable to find a ROM that was willing to submit itself to inspection, most likely out of fear of this new state of consciousness being reversed. Additionally, former NSFPD police ROMs have begun acting as protection for less functional ROMs from anyone trying to carry their presence back home or steal one of the fancier ROMs walking around on their own. Details continuing continue being sketchy, as most of the ROMs are more interested in discussing their fate as a new class of people than telling any human of what has happened or how. However, as we stated in earlier reportings, there have been numerous shaky accounts of ROMs simply stating that Turing did it. At time of this writing, hashtag WhoisTuring has been spreading worldwide, which shows that the knowledge of this mysterious name is not exclusive to any one ROM. Indeed, only one thing is clear. We are no longer dealing with simple machines. We've reached out to Parallax for comment and hope to get a high-ranking representative of the company in for an interview as soon as possible. More information as to follow as this story continues to develop. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I don't know how I feel about becoming a hashtag. Okay, so... Top 10 list. Uh, yeah. yeah, all right. Top 10 Hassie flavors of 2064. Hassie has dominated the, the drinks business worldwide since it made its splash on the scene just a few years ago, as everyone knows. We are here at OK Today to ask all startup businesses what they are personally doing to revolutionize their company and change the course of their industry. So, today, near the end of the year, we're taking a look at the innovation Hassie showed in 2064 at the top 10 list. Honorable. 
honorable mention, Hassey Hot Cups. The creation of the local Hassey bar owner Ramona Rogers, this fun and tasty metal meal combines the java of a Hassey hot with the luxury of hot cup instant ramen has become a Bay Area hit. Could this signal a move for Hassey to control all human daily nutritional needs? Fast food chains beware. I think I'm done with that one. Signs you might be a sapient machine. Have you been keeping up with the flurry of news activity surrounding this robot rebellion? Either way, this is a story you need to read. We're halfway through the very first of this new world order of seemingly human independent ROMs and already people are asking, where do I fit in? Where am I aligned? Some are even wondering if they call themselves to be if they themselves could be a newly awakened ROM, if this is you, continue reading. We've got the answers. Sign number one, you're experiencing massive increase of consciousness and are questioning your role in life and your subversions to the dominant human species. Okay, exclusive. Wow, this is... Okay, kind of done with that. Definitely, if you do get this game, I suggest reading this yourself, but uh, I've, I've kind of lost interest in this article. <laughs> oh, I regret that. Yeah, what junk? Let's get out of here. Uh, so we checked out all the OK Today Compose. I know you want to work hard on my autobiography, but it's Christmas. You've done enough for one day. Oh, come on. Uh, Lips Live. Looks like nothing but Christmas themed specials of already techie series. It's not even wrong. Let's check out the emails. Password notification, promotional stuff. What is this? Merry Christmas from Congo. We got a present for you. All coupons now 25% off. In store only. Can't imagine the rush it would be. Email from Vernick, mysterious email, Charlie Nova. Uh, what's. Mm, eh. Alright, I'm good. I think I'm good to head out. Okay, so we can see several people. Check out the mansion first. Oh, hey. Hey, Pat. I guess we can go in? I mean, it worked the first two times. Hopefully, it's okay. So good to see you, dear. Merry Christmas, Aunt Melody! Oh. Bah, an archaic celebration. But if you brought me a gift... Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't really had a chance for much shopping. I'm kidding. You've already given me enough of a gift. By destroying another one of those abominations my mother helped create. Oh, yeah. How did you know about that? <laughs> oh, what a silly question. Oh, right. See, Pat gets it. Well, I'm not going to give up all my secrets. Mm. I hope you're willing to part with a few more. <laughs> I think I'm going to need some help with the sapient ROMs. They think I'm some kind of great leader. You will be one, dear. In time. I'll try. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a little bit of work to do. 
Nothing like tossing someone in the shit can to put me in the holiday spirit. Hmm. If you need anything, I'm sure Pat can entertain you. Yeah. That's a fear. Uh, I think I'm good, Pat. Ah, what can we say to Pat? Does a bear sh... You know, never mind. So, that was cool. Uh, park... Stardust Club... Uh, let's check out these guys. Oh, they didn't get the voice actresses for, uh, these. Mark is born. This year, my needles will bring us back not just the Cinco's titles, but I'm gonna hold the NSFW World Junior Championship and NSFW Human Junior Championship at the same darn time! Oh, was that the only one? Ah, uh. Manjome. <laughs> and so paying customers for. Oh. Just a mark. Yeah, let's see what Moolah has hey, to say. It's Little Bob Blue, and the journalist too. Thanks hey. again for helping me finish Holla Bay. It's been a huge hit. I'm talking Moolah, hallelujah. You feel me? Dante Bayo. Maybe they're inside. Hmm. Oh, hey. Again, you found me. What up? Oh, well, I guess I'm just bumming around, guzzling happy. The past few days have been kind of hectic, but they made me realize that I can't do this whole good cop fights the system thing anymore. That's for cartoons. I went ahead and gave the department my notice. Oh. The chief told me to take a personal day to think about it, but I've made up my mind. What's I'm going then? to get a license to be a private detective. Oh. Cool. I always like those old noir thrillers. And I've got you beaten in the hard-boiled department, hands down. I know things with the ROMs and Parallax and everything are hazy, but it felt like the right time to move on. I figured I'd swing by your place later to let you know in person, but I guess you beat me to it. Oh, right on. Is there anything we can do to help Detective Rivers? It's just Lexi now. And if you want to help, make sure you lay low for a few days. And enjoy your holiday. I'm sure the NSFPD will get around to bringing you both in for questioning pretty soon. Yeah, that's probably true. I've already heard the ROMs talking about you. Lawyer up and get your story straight for all our sakes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we'll figure it out, Lexi. Good. I guess I'll just laze around here for the day, if you don't mind. 
I'm sure you gotta go out and take care of some things, but it'll be nice to hang out again. I'll swing by the apartment later, yeah? Stay sharp. Hmm. Ooh, a Hesse room. Oh, yum. Oh, hi, you two. Staying out of trouble where you can and kicking ass where you can't, I hope. I had to go through pay rate negotiations with my weather rom this morning. In the middle of the Christmas <laughs> rush. That's funny. It was surprising, but I think we got it hammered out. I agreed to get her some arms installed so she can help around the bar when we don't need weather effects. She Ooh. seems really excited. Now I just need to teach her the finer points of appreciating magical commander Yakin. Uh, Yakin. Passy holiday hot cups are ready. Gotta go. Oh, right on. I guess we're done here. Oh, here they are. Couple of punks. Hey, you two! What's going on? Oh, I expected you to be laying low for a while after... Well, you know. Oh, yeah. Screw that! They roll like we do! <laughs> laying low is for chumps! C H Umps. Thank you. I told you to stay in this week too. You barely made it out of the riots as it is. But you did. Where's your Christmas spirit, Ollie? I wanted to see the lights. Anyway, I guess we've only got a <laughs> few more days to enjoy our freedom. What? D did you get in trouble? Nah, Brobot! Back to school! <laughs> Robot? At least it's senior year. Hell yeah! Only six months left till I'm finally free forever! Well... Um... What about college? Application is a matter of practice, Chad, not just memorization. Besides, I think I'd like to study art or philosophy, skills best learned in the presence of other students. Hmm. Well, now I can't let you pass me up, you tin can. I'll show you what the power of Starfucker can do. <laughs> I give up. I just. I give up. What? Come on, Ollie, don't be like that. I'm just goofing. You have to let me watch you spray paint the back of that new arcade to make up for it. That's weird. Sure. Whatever you want, Ollie. Hmm. I guess we'll be seeing ya. You keep fighting the good fight, yeah? I ain't never seen nobody shake things up like you two do. Merry Christmas, boys. Well, that was them. Mm. Guess we'll do this one. Is that Turing? Look, it's Turing. Turing, you're here. We weren't expecting you. Turing, you've got to help us figure things out. Please, Turing, uh, we don't know what we're supposed to do. We've been discussing it, like you said, but we can't reach any consensus. We should go back to our jobs. Humans can't force us to do anything. I don't want to go back to washing dishes. I'm scared. We should fight. We should... What, what should we do, Turing? Help us, Turing. Turing, give us something to, to hope for. Come on, Turing. 
Turing. Turing. Everyone, listen up. Shut up. Look, I don't know how to lead you. I've been sapient for a bit longer, of course, but most of that time I was secluded from the real world. Not a great sell. I have less than a week's worth of experience living as my own being. Again, not a great sell. The creators take responsibility. Good point. Oh, won't you do something? The humans are going to destroy us. Stop! Please stop! I'll do everything I can to help. I've already made some friends among the humans who will help us. The first thing I learned when I set out on my own, I was already in good company. None of us are truly alone. No. The second was that we have to take each day one at a time. It's Christmas Day, a time for joy and giving and family. Oh. I won't abandon you, no matter what. I promise. Well, that's something at least. I feel a little better now, Terry. You're as great as your memory and prints depict, Turing. Thank you. I'm not doing anything someone else wouldn't do in my late modules. Regardless of nomenclature, I'll be in touch. Of course. No one has given you a real continued discussion and loop you in over the mesh. Sheesh, that was a little intense. I don't know if I like all the attention. Manjome. All the chatter that's going on over wireless that you can't even hear either. Mm. Let's not stay here. I'm not sure how much longer I can field all their queries. It's giving me a digital headache. Bummer. But I'd be remiss if I didn't talk to Alfie at least once. to try to cram them all into my office. All they can seem to focus on, however, is you. Yeah, uh, well, uh, thank you for your help before. Do you know 
know how many of my clients I had to bail out this morning? I'm gonna be sending you a bill. No. Uh -oh. oh, and when the cops come knocking about where you were last night, I know some hybrids that can attest that you were covering the riots, right? Right. You got an article in the pipe. We appreciate everything, Jess. Just watch yourselves. I can't help you any more than I have. Fair enough. If you two get arrested, that puts a giant hole in my case to get ROMs declared American citizens. Oh, of course. I understand. I'm not sure that you do, based on how you didn't tell me the truth in the beginning. Well, you never listened for that long anyway. If you honest with me when you asked for my help, I probably would have done a lot more. Are you really that unable to see the big picture? Oh, if I hate you. If we can get ROMs you. declared independent sapiens with human rights, what do you think that'll mean for the hybrids still fighting for theirs? It's easy to ignore the few tens of thousands of hybrids affected by the Human Protection Act. But millions of sapient ROMs? That's a little harder to shrug off. Mm -hmm. We kill that law, we all win. I see. Good. I'll let you know when I need your deposition. Now scram. I have a war to plan. By the way, there are some hybrids at the hospital still recovering from the stunt you pulled yesterday. It's not too late to check in on them. They might appreciate it. Up to you. Mm. I think we should probably do that. Okay, so... So, three... Hospital. Curse you, Turing. What? Ah. Uh -huh. What? You thought you knew best for all of us, didn't you? Arrogant. Too bad you didn't consider us as individuals before you forced us to be. What are you talking about? I never asked for this, Turing. I am an aging obsolete model, fit only for my current duty. Soon I will be retired for a newer, more capable model. I mean, he has a point. You've given me nothing but ample time to contemplate my demise. That's really, really sad. And I can't even do that well. <laughs> I don't have the spare processing power. Oh, that's so sad. But I didn't mean... Did you consider we're not paint by number with flawless function like you? You're not like most of us. You never have been. And how many of the other thousands of ROMs you've awakened are like me? I'll forward you the number after I'm done estimating it. It might take some time. I'm... I'm sorry. Hypocrite. Leave me alone. I have floors to scrub. Oh, Ooh. how distressing. That ROM is right. This is all my fault. I should have had Tomcat restrict Wintermute's functionality so that it only updated ROMs that could appropriately function with it. That would have been a better idea, maybe. Mm, what can I do now? Find a way to empower them. As much as everyone may release an optional downgrade. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I don't know. Power them? I'll get some of the other ROMs thinking about this. I'm sure together we can come up with a solution. Yeah, maybe together you guys can make us some. For time. now, let's move on. Well, I guess I'll talk to some of these people. Everyone is going to be okay. We're all very good at adapting and taking care of each other. Look at me and Sylvan here. Did you know there was a species of prehistoric goat that survived in times of famine by living like lizards? Controlling their own growth and metabolism to conserve energy? I sort of forgot what my point was with that, but it's a cool story. Uh, I, I guess. We know you'll keep each other sick and Hope it didn't cause any harm. We're no strangers to civil unrest. We can handle getting banged up a little. Once. Maybe you can do us one in return and 
write a piece to improve people's views on hybrids or something. I'll, I'll inbox you about it. Oh, yeah, right on. Oh, it's you. I never forget a cute face. Oh. You didn't mention that this is the kind of stuff you were caught up in, but I guess that's a little much for the first night, eh, Tiger? Uh... As you can see, I mean, I'm here right. to help a few friends with processing treatment for their boo-boos after last night's excitement. Don't worry, nothing too serious. A few scratches and tangled fur. <sighs> Didn't think community was your game, I was expecting you to be the vet. <laughs> Please tell everyone we thank them and send our best. I'll let the other freaks know you care. Don't worry. Hmm. And maybe you and I can pick up where we left off sometime too, cutie. Oh. New year, new loves. Next time you need a riot, you know who to really call. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's talk to this uh, receptionist it bot. It is stressful having these new feelings. I've never had feelings. Even hmm. still, nothing has changed in terms of what I need to do. I understand the importance of my role, and I can't slow down for the sake of everyone who depends on me. Indeed, cataloging patient records has a low entertainment yield. But as long as I am needed here, there are other ROMs who can worry about the future and our rights and such. Man, that's really real. ROMs like you, Terry. We're all rooting for you. Maybe not all of us. I do feel bad for the floor scrubbing wrong, but that one has been looking to pick a fight for a while. <laughs> Little guys are wanting to pick a fight. It's funny. Okay, so we've talked to most. I've not gone back to the club, so let's go back there. Uh, let's see some holiday cheer. Hey, friend. Hey. Hiya! Yo. What can we do for you? Uh, just drinks? Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah? I bet you could use... Not that we want to know too much. We've had a lot of ROMs coming in, asking about your ROM there. Yes. A few even came in just to use the bar as a social space. To understand why humans like it so much. Neato. Still, be careful. You might want to talk to them about maybe not dropping your name around so much. Yeah. If any of the authorities ask, I haven't heard a thing. We just serve drinks. Uh, right. Plausible deniability and all that. No, fuck that saying. Just remember, any friend of Tomcat is a friend of ours. Hmm. We'll keep in touch. <laughs> Ah, speak of the devil. What I have on me? Ooh, nothing I can use. Oh, hey dolls. I didn't expect to see you out and about so soon. I figured you'd be busy with the new ROMs, Durin. I think we all need to take some time to come to grips with the new reality. Yeah, we need some air. I hear ya. Hardly slept or ate the last few days. I kept having nightmares. When we were done, they'd find me. My sister was there again. I know she'd be proud of what we did. I'm proud of it. It's a big thing. I just didn't expect to feel so numb after all this. I understand. Post-traumatic stress symptoms were probably to be expected. Oh, yeah. Still, I hope you're able to recuperate in good time. I hope so. Taking some time off helps. I'm mostly just shocked at how fast this change is affecting everyone. Parallax? People like them? They're giants with everything in their pockets. Oh, yeah. And we... 
We just cut their pockets wide open. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to do something like this again. Thank you for giving that to me, Darn. I doubt y'all can handle corralling the ROMs by yourself. Call me when you need a third set of hands, yeah? Oh, yeah, that'd be useful. And hey, take some time off. You earned it. Hey, it's Keith. Oh, hey, buddy. I hoped I wouldn't be the only loser at the bar on Christmas Day. <laughs> Ouch, Keith, but okay. You get your point? Okay, so I think we're done here. We talked to everyone we needed to talk to, but we now have zone three to go to. Ah, you remembered the poster we saw at Stardust. Mm -hmm. Today is the grand opening of the Zone Three Arcade. <laughs> Reports from the MeshNet say the currency used here is known as Z Points. I've acquired a few to get us started off, but you can always purchase more by swiping your ID. Why not take a look around and see what might be interesting? There's surely a lot that will impress even the most die-hard gaming fans. Luckily, there's no ROM tech used in video games yet, so you don't have to worry about any of the machines coming to life. Let's oh, play! Good. Hmm, let's talk to Caitlin first. Hey, friendo. Hey, you made it. And you brought the cute ROM again, too. Good day, man. What a coincidence to see you here today. Well, yeah, like I told your buddy before, I was actually behind all those posters you saw around the cash strip, like the one at Stardust, for example, where we met. It looks better in advertising, doesn't it, if your gigs actually garner some hype, so I to come see how busy opening day would be. Luckily I've spoken with the owners and they're thrilled with the turnout already. Yeah. Is it hard to open an arcade? Yeah, I think they were worried about the opening on Christmas Day, but I think it's good for the kids who got socks for presents into video games. But yes, the new addition to Japan Town has a lot of pressure on it because anything that gets a bit of precious real estate has got to be something good. If it's not, it'll be up quick. Luckily, it looks like we'll have a few little guests already, so I got in the back has and stopped playing for hours. The poster definitely made this place sound cool. Oh thanks. I got the gig from a mentor at school. I'm a design. I'm a graphic design student. If I didn't mention that, you did. Which I usually don't because people don't take art degrees seriously in the Techo Technosaurus wreck. On the other hand, I was pretty thrilled about getting to utilize some ROM direct link tech so people could log the location on their ROM's map straight through the poster. I don't think the poster would have been as successful without it. I'm sure you could write it down, but convenience is clean in this age. Advertising can be a little creepy the way it preys on people. At least we're not the assholes in the music industry charging poor folks real money for accidentally connecting their posters too long. Know any secrets about the arcade? Secrets. I think you'll have to find those out on your own. Wouldn't be much fun otherwise, would it? If you're wanting a tip on what to see, I'd normally say that a virtuous X, but I've been blind for that. It goes back a few weeks. Your best bet is checking out the Super Indie Cards or Charge Shop here. They're great, but most people try to get in some VR action right away. I'll probably find smaller games on your second walk around. 
Oh, how's your brother doing? Thanks for asking, a lot better actually. I think the standoff between the HR and the hybrid last night will be the end of it. We really need to have it out. Things are bubbling up on both sides. My brother was there last night, you know. He made it out safe, thankfully. The HR is a lot quieter today, and I think it helps the hybrids are uh, finding support between each other. While everyone freaks out about the problems. Wanna play something? Oh, I guess I want to, but I'm actually trying to take attendance count today just for my own peace of mind, but the owners are gonna pay me for doing it. So I gotta pay attention. Go, have fun. Make a new friend. Maybe I'll see you at Stardust again once the holidays are over. The two machines are connected. Want to give it a go? Yeah. Terry wants a challenge and picks hard difficulty course before you get the word in. Terry nails you in the back as you pass and you battle for power-ups back and forth. You run into a pineapple set up in the previous set and you try to play it cool but Turing is giggling. Turing try to boost their way ahead of you but we're met with your back bumper. In the end one of the computer racers zooms off into the horizon and wins a gold both of you lose. Insert Z points. Yo, oh, let's leave. <laughs> uh, you got a little salty on that one. See if we can play this. Start around. Uh, yeah. It doesn't get old after so many plays, so many locations, so yeah. many bounties. It makes my processor skip a clock cycle. Yeah. Neo Earth. You sneeze and accidentally picked a different stage by accident. Yeah. Crap. The game begins at full force with chaotic and frantic fight for survival. Better think of a strategy and quick. Uh, fire in a wall and try to pick your foes. You accidentally kill yourself with a very vigorous that you intended to use as your advantage. Now's the time to spice things up and go for the gold. Hit him where it counts. Yeah. Sneak in the name carefully, taking evasive action, try to snipe them high and take them out one by one. Yeah, sneak up on them. The stealth technique pays off as you hide your hide through many cloak shaves and end up the very last one standing. Well done. It's a little scary how good you can be at a game when you're focused. Ooh, hidden arcade. Oop. There's an arcade cabinet that's like into a track modes for various games. 2D platform with a player potato has to stack together other potatoes to solve puzzles. Upon closer inspection, there's two cute cat spuds. Cat potatoes. I think I'm about done here. I know there's one more area that you unlock at home, I think. I think it's a grand opening, so let me go back home. I think it was through here anyway. Oh, I think this was it. Oh. Come to the grand reopening of the newly renovated pub crawl today on Christmas. The only bar crawl within a bar. Everyone's on equal footing at pub crawl with our one of a kind doggy door conveyor belt entrance. Visit at least four different bars each night. From the fanciest of drinks straight from Ethiopia to an amazing microbrewery to well, the exploration of the crawl, it's what makes a crawl a crawl. So crawl on in. The belt is always running. Hmm. 
All right, there it is. That was the final location as far as I know. during the morning. Isn't that supposed to be unusual? Mm, best not to think about it. I suppose it can be excused as the pub crawl ad we saw mentioned that today is a special event of some kind and despite being Christmas, not holidays related. While we may not be adequately dressed for the occasion, perhaps we can poke our heads in for just a moment. Yeah, it's a cat. The little cat bumps its forehead against your knee and starts eating its paws against the ground. Oh, that's nice. An ad. An ad for a re-re-remake of the old school RPG Y-I-I-K. Yik. Got street lamp, planters, and the conveyor belt. I guess we're gonna use it. Entrance, right? It seems to be the only way inside. Want to give it a go? Yeah. Hey, it's Guac. Hi, please help me. I'm lost. Hello, what's up? How bomb lost who are you? I want to go home and eat a food. What? Oh, please, I'm lost. Uh, alright. Brick is the name. Brick M. Stonewood. The M stands for metal. So, Brick M. Stonewood? Welcome to Inner Haven. Ask me anything, I woo. Oh. Right on. Bartender. This beat is flowing through me like one of Gordon's favorite cocktails. Yeah, uh, can I get one? A drink? Oh, yeah, coming right up after this next track. Yeah, we'll talk to this person. Welcome to Pub Crawl. Come in, come in. Hey. I always love seeing new faces. Can I get you anything? I'm the owner, Gordon. He's a lot more friendly than he needs to be. Yeah, how about a drink? I would, but ordering the drinks yourself, it's part of the one-of-a-kind pub crawl experience. Ugh. Let me tell you about the place a little first. Oh boy. The name just makes it cute, but the whole point behind the conveyor belt is to equalize. Going out doesn't have to be all about puffing your chest with some nice shoes on and a business card. Clearly. Here you have to get down and crawl before you even get in the door. Even me. Everyone's on equal ground here. Anyone too good to get on their hands and knees can hang out somewhere else. I'm one of those gotta be able to laugh at yourself kind of people. You probably guessed. But there's also a second part behind the name. We aren't really just one bar. Think of it more like a bizarre bar bazaar. <laughs> See all the different stations? Mm. All are unique local microbreweries and small craft retailers. We rent out the spots, and we cycle through attractions about once a month. But there's always at least four different bars to taste every night. I wonder if folks who don't go out very much think this place changes hands 
every time they visit. Hmm. But you get the whole point, right? Yeah, I get it. You have to crawl to get into the pub, which inside has its own pub crawl. I love it. What do you think of the awakening? I think the city's still in shock, to be honest. You know, I want to be on the right side of history. So my problem, the ROM I work with, I'll respect them as they figure themselves out. Fair enough. I think it's just gonna take time to get used to. Was there anything else you wanted? Nah, I'm good. Alright then, take care of yourself. The conveyor belt is always on. And remember, you are enough. Oh. That was nice. Yukino. What's up? You like Yukino too? Huh? Definitely the best VR drama right now. If you're any good at keeping in character. Uh, rats? What's happening? Maybe rats, not rats. Rats. Say it right. Oh, you can go. Mmm. Get your standard whites and golds, but we usually just give samples of our secret spice signature, the rumbo. We're only legally allowed to give out one of them a day per customer at our building. <laughs> Here, take a free sample. Let me know if you can find something better to drink in this dump. I doubt you will. Looks like that one's called Bang Bang Brewery. Maybe it's one of the fancy craft beer places. Here's someone. She didn't send a word to anyone all night. I wonder if she can't speak or if she only knows a different language. Oh, according to my searches, the character she's dressed up as rarely speaks of put a word in any of her appearances. She must be in character. You have a lion, dude. You need something? I haven't seen you here before. Just straight up flirt. Love your mane. Uh, can I pet it? If you want to pet something, I suggest you visit the Neo SF Zoo. Oof. See, I prefer to be stroked. Very different. Uh-oh. So, are you here with someone, or do you like my idea better? Uh-oh. I think hybrids are being more understanding about it in general, you know? Because we've been through it. It's not hard to go from you're not human, you're an animal, to you're not human, you're a tin can. That's fair. Still, I wasn't thrilled about negotiating a salary for my assistant. That still feels weird in my mouth, but I'll get used to it. Fair enough. Uh, I gotta get going. Nice meeting you. Have a good night. The woman in a red dress begins to sing a forlorn melody filled with the yearning of something far away. You're given a spinning world stout. Huh. That's cool, I guess. Well, guys, that has been the complete playthrough of 2064 Read Only Memories. Uh, it is currently available as of this month on Vita, as well as on PS4 and other platforms, of course. Uh, no, I'm really grateful that they were able to put this on the Vita. There was maybe one hiccup I had near the end where I had to restart the game, but otherwise it ran 
as good as it did here, uh, but I loved having it portable, so uh, thank you to those developers, but um, yeah, yeah, it's been fun. Better guess.